What is up guys? Welcome back to the river with me. So not to sound like a broken record, but we got some more rain. So the river came up just a little bit more. This evening, I'm gonna throw around something a little different. So this is a soft plastic called a possum tail. I picked this up from one of my local tackle shops. Not sure who the company was, but just rigged it on a that same old Ned rig I've been using. And essentially, basically looks just like a giant worm. So I'm gonna see if the smallies wanna play around with this tonight kind of interested to see if they're gonna you know, bite the tail a lot or if they're gonna eat it head first just want that one little bite it's for reassurance that they're actually gonna eat this thing and for all i know they might think it's a little snake or something i'm not really sure how the smallies are gonna receive it but i knew they'll eat about anything so it's a good way to test it There's one. Thought I felt one hit it there. It just popped off. Well, at least we know that one's gonna eat this possum tail. I feel like with this water coming up and the current being a little bit stronger now, it might be off to the sides of the current. Was one. Hmm. Look at that. Got a rainbow. I saw it in the reflection of the water and I was like, what? Where's it at? I think it's supposed to be pretty clear tomorrow. Then we're going to get like another week of rain. So, You'll probably see me fishing from the bank here. The high, muddy river soon. I'm going to make a few more casts and then we're going to call it a day. And I'll I'm out here to try again tomorrow morning. There we go. It's coming right at me. Doesn't feel very big. It's all right, at least we're still getting on some. Let's me know if they will eat this possum tail. There we go, first one in our hands. Sweet, thanks for the fight, bud. One thing I can tell about this plastic, it's not very durable. It's only our second fish and it's torn pretty good. Well, we'll just keep catching them with it until it completely disintegrates. And then we'll switch to something else. I mean, for 99 cents or 98 cents, you can't really expect too much as far as durability. I mean, I already figured it'd be kind of something different for these smallies to see. It's like almost like a seven inch, six or seven inch worm. They don't seem to be too phased by it. Other one, better one. A little bit better. Just spit something up right there. I need a crawfish. Oh man, freaking shredded my tail off here. Well, I guess that's going to be the last one with the old possum tail because the possum tail is gone. There he is. I thought he was a little bit bigger. He's not. It's just a little more fierce. Well, the only thing I got with me that's handy is that baby goat. Just because right before I walked down here to the river, I took the baby goat off this Ned rig and put that tail on. And put the goat in my pocket, so I'm just going to throw this back on. So I'm not going to be out here too much longer, but I do want to get a few more casts in. Oh man, literally threw it right into a fish's mouth. On that time, oh, I'm so glad I hit record. I figured I'm going to walk back and make a few casts. I better hit record because if I don't, I'm going to end up catching one. That's a nice one too. That's the biggest one so far tonight. That's awesome. Looks like a little fatty.
That's a nice one. That's a good one. Come here. Nice. Look at the belly on that guy. Looks like he freaking swallowed an apple. Jeez. Sweet. This must be an early feeder getting ready for that fall feed bag to put on. Thanks for the fight, bud. Jeez, that guy was gorging himself. All right, well, that's going to do it for tonight's session. But I'm going to see you get through my tackle stuff. Maybe even stop back at the local shop and see if I can find something just as unique as that possum tail. Try to catch some smallies with something a little different. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, and just like that, it's tomorrow. Well, yesterday's tomorrow is today, is what I mean. And after reading some comments on my last video asking you guys what lures I should throw, one of you reached out and said some small flukes work well in your area. So the river coming up, it's got, I don't want to say a stain to it, but it's a little bit murkier out there. I'm going to try this baby Z2. I have it in white. Actually, it's like a pearl blue glimmer, I believe. And I have it paired with a 2 watt EWG hook on there. I'm just... Personally speaking, I don't really throw the fluke too much in the summer. It's usually more of like a spring and a fall thing for me, but hey, I'm open to learn new tactics through the summer. One color I never really throw either is white, mainly because we don't really have any white bait fish in my area, but thinking maybe the white will help it stand out a little bit. And as for conditions, again, like I said, it's been raining on and off the past couple days. Last night actually stormed. Penn's Creek is completely blown out and muddy right now because I was going to try there. We're just going to work our way up the bank through here. Hopefully find a good one that's cruising up through. It's still overcast, so it's a good fishy day. Oh, there we go. Oh, he popped off. little one and the one that missed it was a little bit bigger than this guy all right first squeaker this morning I'm gonna wade down through here I don't know a couple hundred yards if we don't catch anything I'll turn around wade back up I usually go up so I figured I'll try going down today all right, so I was only able to catch a few small ones down through there. We're gonna wait up this little quicker moving current. Let's see if we can get some over here on this little island and then I'm gonna work my way up towards the bridge too. And a little tip of advice I can give you guys. If you're wading in some higher water with some current, walk sideways. Just makes your profile instead of like this walking up, makes it sideways so the water actually goes around you a lot better. It's not pushing you off your feet. little one in there in that little eddy. I figured there had to be something in there. There was this guy. A little sore on his face there. There's a fish. Where are you going, bud? Again, just a little bit bigger. 